Hey guys, we're back in the workshop this evening and uh, got a present today. Um, I ordered this uh, about a week ago and, and uh, it came, uh, I didn't think it was going to come till tomorrow, but it came today. Made me a little excited. Uh, I'm going to enjoy a, a beverage with it because why not celebrate? All right. Tonight is uh, not your father's root beer. Uh, I like this. Uh, I'm not a very big uh, beer beer guy. Um, but hey, this is delicious. So uh, grab your favorite beverage and join in. In moderation, of course. All right, so let's uh, let's check this box out. I ordered a bunch of stuff from J Bugs, uh, so I can try to get that engine back together. Uh, I have been working on it, and uh, I worked on cleaning up the engine block. Um, did some painting. I'll show that to you later, uh, maybe later in this video. Um, but this is the big stuff. So this is so that we can get the bulk of it back together. Oh. This is a big part. I'm going to have to tip out. Let's try upside down. I don't, I don't want to dump the whole box. There it goes. Slide it loose a little bit so I can get a grip on it. I have a set of AA pistons. 88 millimeters. Go ahead and pop these guys open and take a peek at them. I wanted to oversize a little bit, but not have to machine the case out. So uh, these guys will let me get a little more displacement. No replacement for displacement. that 88 millimeter it, they slip into the existing case without additional machining oh those look nice they come with a uh, circlips three wrist, wrist pins they come with matched wrist pins to go in them so don't don't mix up between them because they're probably matched already that's nice It's a, it's a nice bolt-on. It's, uh, it's marked 87.95. You can probably see it in there. And it's also got the arrow marking so that you can always keep that arrow pointed toward the flywheel. Uh, so if I'm thinking about it, this one pointed toward the flywheel, this is going to be number number one because uh, the flat side's on this side. So number two is going to be on the other side. And then yeah, three and four will be on the other way around. Very excited, very, very cool. Uh, just like a, like a kid on Christmas, right? Set that back in there. Let's see what else is in the box. We'll set this one aside. Let's see what else is in the big box. Christmas was a couple weeks ago. That doesn't mean the big kids stop getting their presents. All right, so next up is uh, got a set of empty um, uh, push rods. No, I take that back. This is a uh, case hardware. So this is um, this is our case studs, and uh, I wanted to get some new studs. The other ones were shot when I was pulling them out. I'm going to chase all the threads in the case, uh, but this is all new case studs and hardware to go with it. Nice individually packaged in this blister pack. Looking forward to that. Case studs. Um, new lifters. Also empty. Um, these are billet lifters. Looking forward to those. Let's see what do we have. Oh, a couple things stuck together here. We've got the engine gasket with rear main seal and then the, uh, then the whole gasket kit. Uh, so this will allow us to uh, um, you know, basically 
get all the gaskets where they need to be. Um, you can you can piecemeal it. Get one of these gasket kits. It'll save you. Um, in all honesty, just keep one handy. Order if you're gonna order them, order two. I, I only ordered one this time, but uh, since I've gone back and I've ordered another one because either you're gonna take a chance on tearing one, you're gonna take a chance on losing one, or that one gasket is uh, is gonna fail. And you're gonna want another gasket and you don't know which one you're gonna want first so just order a whole pack and then you have them all right they're not that expensive what else we have uh, a set of silver line bearings uh, main uh, since I didn't have the, the the case board or anything this is a standard size bearings this would be my entire uh, case hardware set engine hardware set um, you know, all the stuff that, uh, that you're going to need to put that case back together. Uh, it's got all your shims, it's got all of your washers, it's got both right hand and left hand thread uh, on, on the nuts. So um, if I remember right, all the gold ones are um, right hand threads. Uh, or left hand thread, so reverse threaded, and the silvers are, are regular uh, forward threaded. I ordered a new fuel pump drive rod. Uh, the, the one I have, I, I looked at it when it came out, had some pretty good wear on the tip of it. I also got a fuel pump flange and fuel pump itself right here. Now, since that date, since I ordered this a week ago, I've gone back to think about it quite a bit. Um, I'm gonna hold on to these right now. I'm probably not gonna install them on the engine right, right now. I'm probably gonna install a block off plate, uh, a fuel pump block off plate, and I'm gonna go with a, an electric uh, fuel pump, um, either a rotary pump or a standard uh, peristaltic pump or uh, pulsing pump, basically because I'm not going to be driving the car all the time, and if you're if you're not driving it all the time, you're going to be firing it up or trying to fire it up, um, and th those bowls are going to be empty, and you're going to keep pumping, pumping, pumping until that fuel pump is able to fill the bowls back up. If it's been a month since you've driven the car, that could take a long time of cranking, cranking, cranking. It's a lot of drain on your battery, a lot of heat on your starter, a lot of strain on your drivetrain. Uh, whereas if you have an electric fuel pump. You turn your key on to the on position, but not over to crank, turn it to on, and you hear that uh, electric fuel pump kick on. It'll fill up the bowls. Just give it a second, and then you should be able to fire it right over. Uh, the, the carburetor bowls will, will be full. You'll, you'll have full run. All right, let's not get dehydrated. All right, what's next? Oil screen. Uh, so this is another one that I'm going to hold on to, but I'm going to um, I'm, I'm going to go. I went a different direction since I ordered um, nice stock OEM oil screen. But I'm going to hold on to this. But I've uh, I've got a buddy who's actually going to machine me out of some um, plate aluminum, a block off plate for for that. Um, I might leave that in. I might put that on and just not use it um, uh, there's a bit of corrosion around the bottom of the uh, bottom, bottom, around the bottom of the case I want to make sure I seal that up well so I don't have that as an oil leak um, like we've talked about that engine sat for a long time uh, a lot of water got down into the case and mixed with with oil the water settles down and the water and all the environmental contaminants in there start to etch away and eat away and corrode away at that aluminum case. Um, and so right around that, the oil filter opening or the, you know, the drain opening, uh, it's pretty corroded. So I want to seal that up really well. I'll probably put some air aircraft gasket sealant right there. Um, and I'm going to go with a, a full flow oil pump with a bypass filter. Um, that just seems safer to me. That way I can, you know, spin on, spin off a filter. Um, I can cut that filter open and analyze it, see how, how the engine's doing after the rebuild. Um, but that also protects so that I don't have to pull that 
drain on and off and stress out those studs because there's some corrosion it's really close to a couple of those studs all right uh, rod bearings got some rod bearings um, let's uh we'll, we'll set those aside we'll be ready to use those uh cam, cam bearings uh you know replace them in the case because everything got stripped out of that case case got cleaned right down to the bear uh bear case and cleaned right back up um i ordered main bearing dowel pins um look in case you, you never know you, you might need them you might not um but you lose one in the process you're sol get an extra set They're, they are not expensive all right and then uh last but not least in the case um i thought i ordered i ordered uh eight of these Here's I ordered one. So uh, back online, I'm gonna order seven more pushrod tubes. Um, so no new pushrod tubes. Don't don't use the old ones. They're already compressed. Um, these are already these are set up so that they will compress more as you install, and they'll fit to your um, between your head and and your your block, and you'll minimize your leaks. Every time you take your head off, you replace these okay every time you take the head off replace these because they're gonna, they're not gonna seal right you could gas you could put you know form a gasket or whatever sealant around them tons of it it's still gonna leak because you've already compressed it um, this is meant to compress in and just compress in enough all right use it once and uh, because hey we all like stickers all right so there's some some good uh, paraphernalia to Go right on the on the toolbox right here. All right, uh, we'll we'll add them to the collection. So some good stuff. So we're going to be building that engine up. We're going to be rocking and rolling. Next few weeks, you're really going to see that engine start to come together. Uh, I got some other parts that are coming in from CB Performance. Uh, this stuff's from, from J Bugs, not sponsored by either. Um, but reach out and get some stuff from these guys. Um, they're really strong in the industry. They know what they're doing. They answer the questions really, really well, and they're going to make sure that you have quality parts. All right. Enjoy your, the rest of your evening. Enjoy your beverage and, uh, you guys have a great night. All right. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.